what a night I'd had. My gray matter was playing hard to get with the details, but if the sign was any indication, then it was probably the same thing that had happened the last 117 times I'd gotten drunk with circus people. I didn't have to check my wallet to know they'd left it emptier than the picture frame Pamela Anderson bought to hold her college degree. Vance knew he wouldn't last a week inside a maximum security prison. You know, once you get used to the sodomy, the rest of it's pretty easy to take. I'm just going to go to the washroom and hope you forget I said that by the time I get back. I'm going to go take a leak. Better have another round of drinks on my table when I get back. Or your ass and my foot are going to have rough sex. She's about as stable as a stack of dominoes on top of a... On one of them, uh... Top of a... Cowboy hat, a... Rodeo... Cowboy riding a horse. And the, having a seizure and the dominoes are all... Falling off the hat. That's how stable she is. I made a mental note to spend more time working on my metaphors. When it comes to me and porn, I have one rule. Always put down a tarp. I ain't open for business, pal. Neither's my rosebud, sunshine, so why don't you lay off with the sweet talk and give me nine rum and coke? Uh, it ain't legal for me to serve you before 10.30. Well, it ain't legal for me to punch the ugly off your face. But that don't mean I ain't not gonna do it if you don't make smart with the booze. I only got enough rum for six drinks. Well, then I guess you better find another bottle before I get that far into my drinking. Otherwise, my foot is gonna be doing a jig with your scrotum. Jeez. Sometimes you just gotta speak their language. If life had taught me anything, it was that bartenders were a lot like kittens. Neither one of them can take a punch. They were trying to give me the bum's rush and force me into a snap decision, but I wasn't biting. These guys were about to learn that old Butchie doesn't do anything quickly except ejaculate. Well, hopefully they weren't going to learn that. But I was drinking and stranger things had happened. So where does this dick fit in? Probably in your hand more often than not. I don't follow you. I mean, that your personality is so distasteful that in all likelihood, you cannot get a woman to sleep with you, so you use your hand to masturbate instead. Does that excite you? Mr. Patterson? <laughs> My client had caught me off guard and I'd come close to losing my composure. I didn't cotton to the idea of her walking out of here thinking old Butchie didn't have the stomach to French kiss danger. I needed to come up with a plan faster than Charlie Sheen drops a C note in a cat house. Hey! Why don't you watch where you're going, you stupid identical twin brother? I was, uh, spying the couch doing some push-ups, and my brother landed on me. It's... Look, why don't you just get out of here? Use the trap door. Good, he's, he's gone. Just don't screw it up. I don't screw anything up. Good day, Mr. Patterson. Should I go out this way, or should I use the trap door? I didn't think she'd bought the trap door bit, but I was obviously wrong, or she wouldn't have referred to it. It was good to know I could still count on my brain to show up at the ball wearing the prettiest gown. That's the kind of thing that can make a man feel good about himself. Come to think of it, so's drinking. Hate to break it to you, Malcolm, but I bowl like I have sex. Hard and fast, and alone in a big noisy room. I'm gonna go tickle the hardwood with my balls. Ball. Take my shot. I gave up trying to figure out the world years ago. First time I dropped too large on a transvestite prostitute. Some of them look so much like women, you can't really tell until it's curtain call, and 
Well, by that, you know, the way I got things figured anyway, it's... If I've already spent the money, someone better be doing something to me. Yeah, I've never been with a woman more than seven minutes. That includes the time haggling over the price. This old dog don't not never learn no new tricks. Never. Well, it don't not sound like nothing I can't not do. Provided my wallet walks away from the table feeling bloated. Well, as long as your wallet's not bulimic. I'll tell you what, Marissa. Why don't we stick to words I know? It was high time Mick learned that when it comes to putting the screws to men in steamy health club change rooms, old Butchie wrote the book. I made a mental note to check if I was gay. Quit flashing your pearly whites like a dumb moron, you stupid prick. And word on the street has tell if a man was looking to get a few photographs altered. You're the guy to see. What do you got? Red eye? The only eye I got that's red is my third one. You don't strike me as the type of man to help me out with that. Okay, I'll help. But only if we speak normally and never talk about your anus again. Deal. But I ain't making no promises about the anus part. Here's a copy of this month's Dixieland Ass Party. My address on the subscription label. Once you've had the Vance, no other man will do. Oh yeah, that's it. Vance knows what the ladies love. A little bit of Vance, it goes a long way. That ain't how you do it, moron. Oh, that's how it goes, all right. Look, I'll show you one time. You might want to write this down. I'll show you how it goes. Uh, uh, uh. Ladies like it when you linger. Uh, 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 uh. Pow! Vance is working it. Pow! Vance is working it. Oh, oh man! Oh yeah, Vance is the man. Oh, time to dump the cookie. Uh, time to dump the cookie. Uh, uh. Sweet milk. Uh. You wait here and make yourself invisible. If anyone asks, tell them you're a male prostitute. If they press the issue, it's a C note for 50 50. 150 for a Dutch twist with a reach around and, and three bills for a trip around the world. Listen, we beat the clock by half an hour, so I got some time to kill. What do you say you leg it down to that booze place around the corner? Get me a bottle of vodka, a bottle of rye, a bottle of gin, 12 beers, two liters of wine, and one of them styrofoam things to keep my drink cold. What the hell happened to you? Some guys in a van. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, how much did you make? Three hundred dollars. What the hell are you crying about? That ain't bad for your first day out. Drink up. What if I say no? I'll call your teacher. Tell her you bailed out of your work assignment. You'll flunk out of school have to spend the next few years doing what you just did with them guys in the van in order to make enough money to pay your bills.